Dear students, in this video we are going to understand very important and useful application of derivatives. This application helps us to understand peak points and the deepest points of a curve of a function. This topic is known as maxima and minima. The word maxima is the plural form of maximum and the word minima is plural form of minimum. Before we start this topic, I hope and I assume that all of you have sufficient knowledge of the following topics. These topics are derivatives, tangent and normals, increasing and decreasing functions. If you have forgotten these topics, then I advise all of you that you please watch my videos on these topics and after that you continue this video. Now dear students, we will understand the meaning of the word maxima. To understand this word, let us consider the graph of some function y equal to fx. Here this curve is representing some function y equal to fx. And on this curve, I have highlighted some points you can see like a, b, c and d. If you see the point a, then what you see that this point a is highest point as compared to the points which are nearby to it, both from left and right. So this point A is highest point in its surroundings or in its region. That's why we call it the point of local maxima. Here you might be little surprised that why did I use the word local along with the word maxima. This is because we have declared A as highest point on the basis of its local area. We have ignored other higher points like C and D. C and D are higher points as compared to A but even then we have ignored those points. We have considered that A point is highest point in its local surrounding or its local area. That's why we call it the point of local maxima. C point is also a point of local maxima in that area. And if you see the point B, then this point B is lowest point as compared to all the points which are nearby to it. So this point B is called point of local minimum. Let us consider that coordinates of point A are A comma FA. It means this distance is A and this distance is FA. And similarly, let us consider that coordinates of point B are B comma FB. Then this FA is known as local maximum value of the function at point A and this FB is called local maximum local minimum value of the function at B. Now students a function can have any number of maxima or minima points depending upon the bends or turns present in the curve. And secondly, if you draw a tangent at the point of maxima or if you draw tangent at the point of local minima, then that tangent is definitely parallel to x-axis. This tangent and this tangent are parallel to x-axis. So, the slope of the tangent at point A and at point B will be 0. It means I can say that dy upon dx at x equal to point of local maxima or minima is equal to 0. Now students, we will discuss some important properties of these points. That is point of local maxima and point of local minima. First of all, I am taking point of local maxima. In this figure, capital A is point of local maxima for this curve. And if you draw a tangent to the curve at point A, then that tangent will be parallel to x-axis. So, the slope of this tangent will be equal to 0 and the slope is denoted by dy by dx. So, I can say that at point A, value of dy upon dx is equal to 0. Secondly, if you move slightly left of the point A, 
then at this point the tangent will be in this direction and this type of tangent will have positive slope that's why the value of dy upon dx will be greater than 0. So if you are taking a point slightly left to the point of maxima then at that point value of dy upon dx is greater than 0. Similarly if you take a point slightly right of the point A then at that point tangent will be in this direction tangent the direction of tangent will be in this direction and due to this direction slope will be negative so I can say that at this point dy upon dx is less than 0. So if I see the graph then it is clear to me that if I move on the curve from left to right and through the point A then value of dy upon dx changes from positive to 0 and then from 0 to negative. It means the rate of changing of dy upon dx is negative. So this is rate of changing of dy upon dx with respect to x. dy upon dx and it is representing the rate of changing of dy upon dx with respect to x. So this rate is negative and this thing is denoted by d2 y upon dx square. So I can say that at point A d2 y upon dx square is negative. So at point of local maxima the second derivative is always negative. Now students we will discuss the properties of point of local minima. In this figure point B has been taken as the point of local minima. Again if you draw tangent exactly at the point B then tangent will be parallel to x axis so the value of dy upon dx will be 0. So at point B the value of dy upon dx is 0. If you are on the slightly left of B then direction of tangent will be downwards like this. So slope will be negative it means dy upon dx will be less than 0 and exactly opposite of this will happen on right side. So if you are on a point which is slightly right of B point then at this point direction of tangent is like this it means a slope of tangent is positive it means you can say that dy upon dx is greater than 0. So when we are moving on the curve from left to right and through the point of local minima then the sign of dy upon dx is changing from negative to 0 and then 0 to positive. It means if we see overall sign of dy upon dx then the sign of dy dx is changing from negative to positive it means the value of dy upon dx is increasing. So the rate of changing dy upon dx with respect to x is positive dy upon dx is actually increasing. So rate of increasing dy upon dx with respect to x will be positive. So d by dx of dy upon dx is positive that is greater than 0 and it is denoted by a second order derivative d2 y upon dx square. So I can say that at point b the second order derivative will be positive. Now students we will understand point of inflection. This point is a very special point. At this point tangent is parallel to the x axis but at this point function has neither maxima nor minima. Let us see this figure. In this figure this is curve and at this point of the curve I have drawn the tangent. This tangent is parallel to the x axis but at this point function is having neither maxima and no minima so this point will be considered as point of inflection. So point of inflection is a special point at which function has neither maxima nor minima but value of dy upon dx becomes 0. Our last topic is absolute maxima and absolute minima. It's very simple. 
when a function is defined or given in a closed interval say l comma m then the highest value of the function is known as absolute maximum value and the lowest value of fx is known as absolute minimum value of the function now students after this we will see that what is the process of finding points of local maxima points of local minima points of uh, inflection and how to how will we get the absolute maximum value and absolute minimum value